Hi there guys, Gatewick here and welcome to my channel. Today we will visit Appenzell and I will tell you about the region, what it is famous for, what to do, to eat and to see here. So Appenzell is a historic canton in northeastern Switzerland and entirely surrounded by the canton of St. Gallen. Even the name itself, Appenzell, derives from Latin abatis cellar, which directly translated as estate of the abbot. That refers to the abbey of St. Gallen. Appenzell used to belong to Abbey of St. Gallen and became independent only in 1403 and later joined the old Swiss Confederacy in 1411. The town of Appenzell is the capital of the smallest Swiss canton Appenzell in a Horden. It lies on the foot of Alpstein at the heart of the very picturesque and hilly landscape. The town is very homey and charming, has this kind of authentic Swiss feel. So what is Swiss feel? What makes Swiss Swiss? Well, it's not the language, right? There are four of them here. Uh, what makes Swiss Swiss arguably is the mountains and the lifestyle that people were forced into here. And to be brutally honest, the life was hard here. A shocking secret, Switzerland was not always rich. The fact of the matter, country was divided into small city-states that fought with each other for the dominance. Lives of the average Swiss were tough and were entirely dependent on their livestock, primarily cows. So in many ways, lives followed the seasons, taking cows to the green fields in the summer and bringing them back for the winter. There's even a festival today in Appenzell, the ceremonial descent of cattle in the autumn. So the region is still today true to those traditions. It is known for many rural customs and wonderful old traditions, such as the ceremonial descent of the cattle earlier mentioned, cultural events such as folk music and rustic dances, many carnivals and festivals. So that's what makes me believe that Appenzell is more Swiss than many other places. Again, arguably. Personal opinion, nothing more. Well, in terms of what to eat and what to try, one of the most traditional and delicious dishes here is rösti. Rösti. So rösti is a fried potatoes, sort of like a pancake made of potatoes fried. It could be fried with bacon, with cheese. And what else to try? Definitely bakeries. Uh, so this is one of the best bakeries here in Appenzell. This is the High Königge or Three Kings. It has a wide variety of cakes. Also it's a restaurant. Uh, it serves really good Swiss food. So if you want to try earlier mentioned Rosti, that could be the place to try it. The place is famous for its fresh strawberry mousse and apple pie in vanilla sauce. Both were fantastic. Would highly recommend I don't know, try in both, but if you have preference, obviously go for one or the other. Old Town is always very charming and beautiful. Most of the buildings are decorated with frescoes. Uh, there's a great museum that you should consider visiting, Appenzell Museum, that's also in the town hall. 
uh, which will tell you more about Appenzell's history and culture. So as I pointed out, the place is rather traditional and traditions continue to this day also in regards to crafts manufacturing. Appenzell is the place to see saddlers, goldsmiths, and Bavarian folk artists. Um, those artists create intricate hand embroidery. Palatable pleasures are not limited to food and desserts only. Appenzell is in fact famous for its beer. Uh, this is a beer that is brewed in accordance to ancient secret recipes that remain secret to this day. Loho Brewery has created a visitor center for lovers of Appenzell beer, where you can learn the facts about the beer, but well, mind you, not the recipe. Did you know, by the way, that beer was one of the most traditional drinks throughout the human history and oftentimes was drank more than the water because beer was safer to drink at the time. And beer was also often used as a method of payment. And now to the arguably most interesting site in Appenzell, Sauter Castle. It was built in late 1400s. At the time, Swiss were building castles primarily for fortification to protect their noble citizens. The Sauter Castle was the first built by Anton Löw, and Anton Löw was wealthy and very well-liked man. However, he was condemned to death when being found guilty of adultery. Well, maybe he was framed. Pretty much after that point, Sutter family would not take control of the family castle for approximately 300 years. Not until early 1800s, Sutter family had reached the level of wealth to afford the castle. Roman Sutter was a very good doctor who tended the royalties who could afford to bring the castle back into the family. The castle sometimes referred to as doctor's house because of Roman Sutter. And if you're interested in outdoors, Appenzell will offer you plenty year-round. Alpstein region offers some of the most beautiful hiking trails in Switzerland, from the easiest leisurely walk-like to the most strenuous mountain hikes. Both winter and summer work very well. The hilly pre-alpine landscape and mighty alpine mountains take the appearance of winter fairy tale here. Winter walking and cross-country skiing are very widespread here in Appenzell region. A wide network of around 200 kilometers of cross-country ski trails extends throughout Appenzell, so there'll be no shortage of skiing. Summer would be just as stunning. Uh, a cableway operates between Wasserraum, that's literally two stops away from Appenzell, and Ebenalp, that 1600 meters tall mountain that's a gateway to hiking region of Alpstein and the site of Wildköchli, that's a caved chapel, uh, which is a very, very famous site. And from the top of the mountain, you can easily reach it by foot in only 15 minutes. And obviously the Alpsi, that's one of the most beautiful lakes. You can hike literally from Appenzell itself. They would take you slightly over an hour, or you can take a tram, two stops, and then from there it will take you slightly less than an hour.
all right guys that would be all for the day thank you so much for joining me on this journey i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did hope to see you again here if you like the content please put that like button if you would like to see more content please subscribe would love to see you back here again and see you soon